Welcome to MMA Newt, and here's 5 things you might not know about Fedor Emelianenko. Political career It's no secret that Russian President Vladimir Putin is a big fan of Fedor, but in 2012, Putin handpicked Emelianenko as a member of Russia's Presidential Council on Physical Culture and Sports. Emelianenko also took part during Putin's presidential campaign the same year. Helps Charity Emelianenko definitely comes off as a humble, down-to-earth guy in a true rags-to-riches story, but he hasn't let the money go to his head. Emelianenko was one of a prestiged members of the Peace and Sports Organization, a type of charity of sorts who reach out to post-war-torn and poverty-stricken areas to use sports as positive social influence and steer youths away from drugs and violence, as well as trying to bridge societies together. Donald Trump Reality Show Okay, so if the world is crazy as it is, this is a truly bizarre instance. Back in 2008, current US President and then businessman Donald Trump was one of the main shareholders of the MMA organization Affliction, and Trump planned an MMA reality show where 16 unknown fighters would compete for a chance to face the legendary Russian. They will earn a chance to step into the ring against the most decorated heavyweight champion in MMA today. M1 Global's Fedor Emelianenko. However, Affliction would shortly after close operations, but Trump said in a press release that the show will be spectacular. Hmm, Trump, Russia, you know, I could make a political joke. No, God, please, no, 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 no! Russian icon from the Ukraine. So, while Emelianenko is a true sports god in Russia, an interesting fact is that while he was born in the Soviet Union, his hometown of Rubizne is actually in modern-day Ukraine. However, it is a city with a very large ethnic Russian population. Sambo Master So, while Emelianenko is probably the most decorated Russian mixed martial artist ever and probably the most revered heavyweight ever, he, much like many of his MMA countrymen, has a background in other martial arts. Emelianenko holds 11 gold medals and 5 bronze medals in combat sambo, which definitely laid the foundation for the legendary fighter's career. So, that was 5 things you might not know about Fedor Emelianenko, who faces Chael Sonnen this weekend. Do you think the last emperor can beat the American gangster? Let us know in the comments, and we'll catch you guys next time.